Anna turns 30 next week and wants to throw a party, but the cost could reach a damaging £1,000. Lifestyle coach Jay Hunt is on hand with advice on keeping the costs down. Hi, Anna. Hi. How are you? Hello. Good. <laughs> I'm just sort of slightly worried that, you know, with something like a 30th birthday, if we're not careful, it could absolutely tip the balance window. over. And I just wondered what your plans were. I mean, I'd like to provide all the, like, canapes. I'd like to lay on some drinks, maybe some food. And if money was no object, I'd do that all myself. Right. OK, so that's <laughs> fantasy five minutes, yeah. Anna. What I've come up with is I'd like you to just spend a bit of time mm. and do a bit of research, OK? Mm. Because it is possible that you can pick some really nice bars mm. and places because what you can do is some of them will give over a designated area. Mm. If you say that you have X amount of people mm. guaranteed to come and party with you, they're buying their own drinks. Mm. You know, these places are quite savvy. They want mm. your custom. They want your friends in there spending yeah. money in there. Mm. And for that, you don't actually have to pay anything. I mm. really don't want to pay too much money so if I could mm. cut any corners like have a birthday cake buy it from Tesco's or something or a bakery and then um, have that in there and I mean because I'm going to be giving them a lot of money at the bar surely I should be able to negotiate around that I think if you plan in advance then yeah. nothing's going to be a surprise yeah. I think it would be a shame mm -hmm. if at the last minute mm -hmm. due to a panic you're kind of chucking money mm -hmm. at your 30th That's birthday yeah. when in advance we could yeah. sort of work it out which would mean you could have fun yeah. and it could be stylish and you can be surrounded by all your friends mm -hmm. but when you wake up on Sunday you're not going to be thinking oh no I can't believe that I spent all spent that all money that. on a night that I can't sure remember. <laughs> all right, so I'll give you these, and that can be your research project, okay. all right? Jay's theory is that you don't always have to go cheap to get something for free. Good deals can be had in expensive places, provided you do your legwork and a little savvy negotiation. Anna's first target is a fashionable bar in Soho. Can she get away without guaranteeing any money? My birthday in a few weeks' time, and I'm looking for a bar. Um, if you're not having food and you just wanted to do like yeah. a minimum spend and just drink, then we'd probably set you in a minimum spend, which would probably oh, be really? around a thousand pounds for what you're talking about. So I've got about. a guarantee, thousand pounds behind the bar. Yeah, what we'd ask is for twenty-five yeah. percent of that as a deposit, right, um, okay. up front, and obviously that'll be refunded yes. to you if and when the minimum spend was met. Not what Anna wants to hear, but she's got the bit between her teeth and rises to the challenge. We can have it. Exclusive for you for the whole night. Mm. There's no charge at all for oh, really? it. Really? You don't have to guarantee to set the phone behind the bar or anything? No spend behind the bar at all. Yeah. Now she knows it can be done, she raises the stakes and goes for an expensive venue in Mayfair. Certainly not the cheapest part of town. Negotiation skills at the ready, she's determined to get a place she really wants. First of all, how much, how much is it to hire out? Just some drinks. Yeah. OK, we can say it's going to be a minimum of 1,000. Really? Yeah. OK. What happens if I don't get 1,000 behind the bar? <laughs> Not sure we can find something, always. Really? I must say, I love this bar. It's up to people. Finally, the legwork's paid yeah. off. Anna's got the bar she wants for free and got them to waive their minimum spend of £1,000. Go off the gun. Brilliant. OK. All of Anna's best friends have made the party, even a contingent from Bogner, despite knowing they'll have to buy their own drinks. Determined to cut costs even further, Anna's brought along her own birthday cake. While it's from Tesco's, no one can tell under all those candles. Anna's 30th birthday is a massive hit, but only cost her a modest £90. She's learning fast. 